had one question uh, that course, I've always wondered. So um, obviously you worked on so much music and of course you've explored so many new uh, kind of genres that a lot of us, you know, uh, that are new to a lot of us. So I want to know, how do you keep that versatility alive? Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a tricky question. I guess uh, I'm very intrigued. Yeah, I'm very intrigued, Mahesh. Like, I always, um, you know, listen to if something like excites me, I really dig into it. I kind of like get into it, its depths and sort of figure out like how this was done and like, how that was done. And then, you know, I start reading up on it. And um, I'm going to be very, very straightforward. YouTube is a great way of Google is a great way of finding questions and like finding out be a certain thing. And, you know, I was for a long time, you know, when this whole side chain stuff started, I hmm. was kind of I was like, how do people do this kind of pulsating sort of thing, you know? And I mean, now, of course, it's so easy. We know that there is something called kickstart that kind of gives you that feeling of, you know, that side chain. Yeah. Well. And there are other other ways of doing side chaining. But I just, you know, Nikki Romero, I hit kickstart and kind of like, you know, I just... Do the job, yeah, and does the job, like you know, and but I, so for a while I was like wondering how the hell do you do this stuff, and uh, you know then I I kind of read up on this uh, uh, on uh, on Google and like you know I go through some like some crazy some geek sites with plugins and all that. So I'm I'm very interested and intrigued about music, and it keeps the uh, see one thing is like finding out from uh, you know from someone you work with like Raj or. Uh, from Suleiman or from some anybody, but I, I like to just kind of figure out myself how to do things, and that you know sort of um, makes me happy and gives you a feeling like I've achieved something. You know, uh, knowledge is power. I love to get knowledge yeah. from, and I like to dig it myself uh, most of the time, and uh, and then you know sometimes magic happens like that. So that's what keeps the versatility alive. Also, you know, I sometimes like I listen to a raga and. You know, I feel like, you know, like for instance, Kirwani, you know, sometimes I feel Kirwani, uh, like it, it has, the, the whole thing of, uh, you know, Shuddhani has such a big thing. And of course, you can kind of, you know, I, I always like to see how I can color it with different changes and kind of, you know, when... Of course, you can do your, like a simple B minor F sharp thing, but like, you know, the thing of bringing in a G minor... Which highlights the the third and which becomes your shudni. It kind of adds a lot of color. So things like that, uh, you know, intrigue me and you know make it. Uh, fortunately, I studied a bit of Indian classical music and uh, and uh, you know uh, my Western knowledge is was was pretty decent for me to merge the two and have fun with it. Uh, sometimes I break rules, but at the same time I. I try to stick it in the pocket, like you know, I not, don't break so much that I, I disturb a purist. Like if a, it's a pure classical listener uh, who listens to pure classical music should not get disturbed with my changes, you know. Uh, so because I'm a purist as well at the same time, but I like to experiment. I like to, I like to do things, but just for a second, uh, and as long as I can come back to the pocket of the rag and the, the scale. So yeah, I guess it has to be just done tastefully enough. Tastefully, correct. Yeah. Just in the small dose, so that it doesn't you don't feel like your music can never be. You can never be larger than music. It's always of music that is larger than you. So that is something which I always keep in mind that music, your song is the hero, your composition, your or music by itself is the hero, and you are just a medium that is uh, sort of you know bridging things and you just part of it and kind of learning this process of course cool thank you so much for that i guess right? so thank you everyone and thanks so much for uh getting me all excited uh, about uh you know and this beautiful setup with uh um uh, what's it called a cam uh, uh it's called cam twist that you sort of uh turned me on on and so that i could play my session i want to quickly thank muhit here as well who helped me a lot uh, you know to set it up we were ready with obs but next time we'll do it on obs hopefully yeah sure i'll help you set that up too <laughs> thanks